sometimes we find that leaders pray less than the members in the church. Take for example, a leader wants to get married. And this leader, zonal leader, area leader, whatever, as he wants to get married, he begins to think and uh, he begins to say, well, all the other people can pray and pray a lot because, you know, they are ignorant. But as a zonal leader, he counsels many people. And he knows a lot of the people that are single. You see the other members, their own disadvantage, which is okay for them, is that they do not know the people, they do not know all the people that are single. Therefore, they really have to pray. Because they can easily make a mistake and point at somebody who is already married or engaged. But the zonal leader, he knows the people that are married. He knows those who are already engaged. Even in, the, in another uh, zone, he can easily talk to another zonal leader and uh, without telling that other zonal leader is racing and say, uh, well, I just want to check out because of something going on in a zone connecting your zone. Is uh, so-and-so married or not married? And this other zonal leader will not say, why are you asking as a zonal leader? He will reply, is married, she's married or not married? Therefore, the zonal leader has the disadvantage because of the human knowledge. That one is married, that one is not married, that one is engaged, that one is not engaged, and has been counseling people, and has known the people among those that he is counseling that this will be a nice, you know, a nice woman. This one will be, this one will be terrible. Because every time I tell her, do this in the zone, she will argue that one cannot be a wife. No prayer. You just can know that, that that one cannot be a wife. And that other one, anytime you say area meeting, she's always there. And anytime you say, now, sister, you will do this, sister, you will do this, while the others are frowning, she doesn't want She says, yes, I will do it. But the man doesn't know that that other lady in the zone that's always saying, yes, I will do it, yes, I will do it, that's her way of selling herself over. But you don't know. And therefore, without any prayer, you just go back to God and you say, well, God, I thank you. Without any prayer already, you are giving me a strong impression. Impression. Everybody can have impression too. Unbelievers have impression. Believers have impression. Those who are praying can have impression. Those who are not praying can have impression. And then goes to the marriage committee. And you know, that's your disadvantage. Because you are a zonal leader. The marriage committee, who are the people there? Coordinators and zonal leaders and people like them. And then they say, ah, so you have not married zonal leader? You have not married? And you are upon the will of God now? Uh, yes. Who is that will of God? Is so and so. Uh, is uh, that person married or not? Do you know? Well, you are saying that you ought to know. Is she married? No, not married. Go and tell her. That's the will of God. That's your disadvantage. You get into trouble. But the other people, they don't have any knowledge. They are not zonal leader. They don't know who is married or who is not married. They will pray and pray and pray and pray. And then God eventually will lead them. They take a long, long road. They pray, they fast, they pray alone, they call other people, they pray with them, and they go to the marriage committee. When they get to the marriage, they dribble them, they say, how do you know it's the will of God? Suppose that person is married. You say, I know it's the will of God. They say, go and pray again. They pray again, that's better for you. Because you really pray through. Eventually, after about six months, they say, okay, you can go to the sister. And the sister too had been praying, and then eventually uh, you told the sister, and then the sister went to the marriage committee and said, a brother, uh, this brother saw me and said this and this. How do you know it's the will of God? So anybody will send to you is will of God. Go and pray. And that sister begins to pray again. After three months of prayer, she comes back and says, I never prayed like this before. <laughs> Even when I was getting salvation, I never prayed like this. This prayer is too much. Then they said, what's the answer now? It's the will of God. All right, go and tell him. And eventually they start, they'll have a better marriage. But the other one, they didn't allow to pray. Because he has knowledge. That's their downfall. It's better to pray. If something does not allow you to pray, that thing is going to injure you.